Welcome back to True Host Academy. Having trouble with permission errors in cPanel? No worries. I've got your back. This is a pretty common issue, but it can cause big headaches if not handled properly. So let's dive into how you can fix these errors and keep your website running smoothly. First things first, let's talk about why fixing permission errors is so important. Think of file permissions like security guards for your website. If they're not set up right, it can lead to broken links, denied access, or even bigger security risks. And that's something you definitely want to avoid. So what exactly are permission errors? Well, in cPanel, every file and folder on your server has specific permissions. These permissions control who can read, write, or execute files. If these settings are off, you might run into issues where parts of your website aren't working correctly, or visitors can't access certain pages. These errors can happen for a few reasons. Maybe the wrong permissions were set during a file upload, or you might have accidentally changed something. Sometimes even a script or application can mess with the permission without you knowing. All right, let's get to fixing. The easiest way to tackle permission errors is through cPanel's file manager. Just log into your cPanel, head over to the file manager and find the file or folder that's giving you trouble. Right, click on it, select change permissions and adjust the settings. For folders, you'll usually want to set it to 755 and for files, 644 is the way to go. Feeling a bit more adventurous? If you're comfortable with command lines, you can use SSH to fix permissions. This is super Super handy if you're dealing with a bunch of files. Just connect to your server, navigate to the directory, and use the chmod command to change the permissions. It's a bit more advanced, but once you get the hang of it, it's a breeze. Now, a quick tip, avoid setting permissions to 777 unless it's absolutely necessary. It might seem like a quick fix, but it can open up your site to security risks. Stick with 755 for directories and 644 for files, and you'll be good to go. Still having issues? Sometimes, even after changing permissions, things might not work as expected. If that happens, try resetting the permissions to their default settings, and if all else fails, don't hesitate to reach out to your hosting provider. They can offer help tailored to your specific setup, so there you have it. Fixing permission errors in cPanel doesn't have to be a headache. With these steps, you'll have your site back up and running in no time. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips. Thanks for watching True Host Academy, and I'll see you in the next video.